might have said something, you might have backbitten somebody, you may have slandered another person, maybe you took the right of another person, maybe you harmed another person, maybe you took something which didn't belong to you, maybe you indulged in interest, maybe you did something which you shouldn't have done, you looked at something, you listened to something, or you did something which you shouldn't have done. How many sins that we have committed, how many times we've disobeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we considered it something small. If you want to sin against me, harm me, neglect me for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, 60 years, then one time in your life, only once in your life, you decided that I want to make tawbah and you said, Ya Rabb, Allah says, Ya Abdi, what do you want? And he said, Ya Allah, forgive me. He says, my slave, I have forgiven all your sins. What's the point of even seeking forgiveness? If you know what I'm doing, you know the kind of stuff I'm up to? You don't want to know, bro. I'm bad. I can't even worry about forgiveness anymore. I mean, the people who are good, they try to make istighfar and stuff. I, I'm involved in way too much. And I don't see myself getting out anytime soon. Allah says, don't cut yourselves off. Don't lose hope. Don't become completely depressed from the loving mercy and care of Allah. Allah didn't stop loving you. Allah didn't stop caring about you. Allah never says in Quran, He wants to punish you. He says the opposite. Why would He want to punish you? That's literally what He says. Allah will forgive all sins altogether.